This is Noah's Ark restaurant. Uh, this is Yerevan, Armenia. Uh, Yerevan is actually famous. Well, Armenia is actually famous for uh, Mount Ararat, where they say Noah's Ark is, or landed after the flood. So this is Opera Square, Yerevan. Opera Square is lined with a bunch of restaurants and some nightclubs underneath them. Uh, it gets pretty crowded here at night. So this is Opera Square. There's two statues here. I'm not exactly sure what they are. We came here this morning, it's completely empty. Uh, about 7 a.m. when I got off the, the train. So this here is a bunch of statues of a famous Armenian movie. Um, it's about some taxi drivers that are trying to hook this guy up with a girl. Ends up being a big mess. These are actual size of the actors. And the room the girl lived in in the movie is right there. So. This is uh, kind of portrayed here as a... So this is a famous writer here from Armenia. Uh, I can't remember his name, but this whole square here is named after him. A uh, writer or uh, artist, can't remember, but anyway, the square is named after him. This here... It's a long street that leads to Opera Square, I believe. And I guess then, like 20 years ago, it was just a bunch of old houses and they saw money. So they took it down and built these condos that I guess they sell for about a million per, per room. A million US. <coughs> so uh, it's actually a nice little shopping street. They got little bars and restaurants at the bottom. But they're very expensive. So this is the government building. Um, they say over there there's a Lenin statue and at the collapse of the Soviet Union they took it down. Uh, apparently some of his stuff is left in a museum here but there's also people that have denied that. So at night here there's a fountain show the lights are there, and uh, I was here last night. There's music, a lot of, a lot of tourists. This, this uh, square is completely full at night. They said most of them are Iranian. So this here, is a statue in the center of a street, donated by the French president Sarkovi, and there's a really strong tie here between France and Armenia so so this here is a little park kind of thing uh, and at the end of it some very famous steps here I heard Russia took over the project and they go way up there it's kind of like a park because they took down trees to uh, build it so they tried to make green uh, like little plants up there as you can see so it takes about five or ten minutes to walk up these steps. You come here at night, it's just so crowded, everybody's everywhere. These fountains represent the 15 CIS states or former Soviet countries. So this one right here, that's actually Armenia, and I don't know what the other 15 are. This is another uh, square they have. All these things are filled with art. That's actually a head in the center of that fountain. They turn the fountain on at night. Here is the third one. I think there's like six or seven before you get to the top. And there's actually museums inside these. They ran out of money to finish this. And this tiger here is made out of car tires.
from the top this isn't at the top I'm not even halfway there but there's an excellent view of the city and I just don't have time to go there because my trains in an hour but you can see over there there's a mountain and stuff and it's kind of in a valley a little bit here so this here is supposedly the creator of Yerevan and this is what he created the city to look like right here it's supposed to be like a ray of sunlight and with the outer roads being like the rays of sun so it's a pretty interesting design for sure it was meant to hold 1.1 million people and there's now I think 1.7 million here so 